It is 2005, 2006. Mm -hmm. Big game in Miami. I go crazy. Let me fast forward. Puff is at the game, right? So after the game, we go out to Opium. You remember Opium? You remember Purvé? Come on, Purvé. You remember Purvé? Come on, boy. Okay, so, we talking so, so go there with me. Let's Everybody out there, go to Purvé with me. You come on, go Privé. back in your mind. Where go. was you at? 25, 205, 206, <laughs> Purvé crazy right now. Go to that now. VIP and, and Purvé, that upstairs car. Come so anyway, on, I'm man. in the back, right? The nights, I'm up, you know, I'm in Miami. It's Wade County. I'm doing my thing, right? It's, I'm new on the scene, but I'm, <sighs> I'm becoming it's, Flash. It's, it's you, you Flash. So all I see is lights coming through and like big dudes coming at me and shit. I'm like, oh, what's... I'm from Chicago too. Now I'm what's like, about to happen? And boom, Puff walked up to me. Wow. It was like it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> boom. <laughs> and he was like, I'm about to make you the first NBA superstar model in the world. Get in touch with me. Are you serious? Yep. I'm gonna get my he was I, he was like, I'm gonna get my assistant. He was like, get my get your assistant to call my assistant and get in touch with me. I was at Puff House the next night, sitting in his fucking living room, looking around that mansion, like, why am I here? <laughs> right. I signed with Sean John that night. That was that was my first introduction to modeling. I was with Sean John as a model. No way. Go back and look. Young it, the name the it was in magazines and billboards all over New York. Young, fly, and motherfucking flashy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking flash. So it was so it's in you. So, so yeah, so like he he saw it, but he saw it first. Right. And so we Puff, still going. Puff put it on though. Puff, Puff, Puff know how to go get it. Puff, I, man. Hey Puff, I seen you at the Met Ball. You go get it, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of cats that represent the culture. I love the fact that, you know, guys have the opportunity now to show their personalities through their fashion. Yeah. You know what I mean? You guys come through the tunnel, some cats are low key chill, then some cats come through with it. You know, I seen Coos come through a couple times, he got on some crazy little droopy yeah, ass Yeah, Coos come in with this wrapped around Yeah, yeah, him. Coos come in with a blanket and it just, <laughs> it just with no drawers. Coos I don't know what- with the top billing next year. <laughs> Hey, you want to do some marketing? Go ahead and pay somebody walk in with the top billing. I know, like, but you you always been um you know a fashion guy. You and Gab do it well. You know, you guys are fly. You you incorporate it into your brand. You know what I mean? I like I love what you guys are doing. But you definitely do push the envelope. There was a couple outfits you put on, and I was like, nah, I, I can't do that one, D. That one, that one, because you had on some little shorts, and it was little. It, it was like you. It was almost like you had the right jacket and the wrong shorts or something. But you had the, the right shoes on in the long socks. <laughs> you ain't it like was, shorts. Yeah, it was like charcuterie or something. It was, <laughs> what's that word again? Shaka Khan. It was Shaka Khan. Now, <laughs> I can't say that word for shit. 